Uh, I'm not supposed Jordan. to start the stream. No, no. Oh god. Ah, no. flames! <laughs> We're on fire! No. We're on fire! No, it's the rocking dead again! Someone put out the fire! Need a gun like a hole in your head. No, wait. That's Queen. Oh. I'm getting the um, rock star back. Rain. See rain. Oh, hey. Tree. Oh, hey. Can't see the forest the trees. Is... Oh, here we go. The game is probably super loud right now. <laughs> Cloaks. Cloaks are spooky. Yeah. <laughs> By the Great. way, the entertainment presents. Lurkopter really typing. wants to guest. So if someone could bring him in, that would be great. I'm a bit That's preoccupied with looking at uh, the Japanese schoolgirl. Try and get him in here. That's a good horror game to Japanese schoolgirls. Well, I don't know. Wow, check out the, this awesome cutscene, guys. Oh, is this the 3D remake of Aoni? Oh god, we're, get, we're getting a face bomb. This is gonna be awful. Oh wow, she has the ability to change ethnicity! So, welcome to Clock Tower 2, The Stride oh, Within, which is actually not Clock Tower 2. Let, oh. let me just go over this right away, because a lot of people, especially in the US, are very confused. The actual Clock Tower 2 that we have pre played previously on stream was released as Clock Tower in the US because the original SNES game was never localized. And then there was this game, Clock Tower Ghost Head, which has nothing to do with the original story of Clock Tower. It's a Gaiden game, as they call them. Sort of. I mean, it's still a Clock Tower game, it's just that there's really not a Clock Tower. And no. it's not in the same canon. Uh, just answer me this: Is there a clock? A, is there a clock tower in this game? Maybe. Are there either clocks or towers in this game? Yeah. <laughs> so okay. Uh, just so you know, I've got about two different guides uh, set up here, just in case we're going to need it. Yeah. And so I've got my excellent brain. Wait a second. I, I think I might have figured out what's wrong here. Let's see. Oh, hey, ah, there so we go. There's a pamphlet. Let's see yeah, the pamphlet. Don't... Always read so the pamphlet. So there are no Twilight clocks. Do you know oh, the God. World? Look at all these endings. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so there are no clocks or towers in this game, which means it's even worse in that regard than Clock Tower 3. Yeah, actually, uh, I just... I don't know, I might need to ask you a favor, uh, Overflight. Yeah. Yes, I pretty much checked here. There are about two different guides, but there's apparently a third guide, only it's in Portuguese, so... Oh! Yeah, I'll do that one. <laughs> okay, uh, send me the link. Let's get this game started. So, You're in any case... you uh, have me here, then. I just want to put this out there, that this is the most requested horror game by viewers on YouTube. Huh. Oh wow, that means and, it will be terrible. Yeah, we have a, we have a lot to live up to as well. Yeah, That's yeah, and as we people. know, uh, YouTube is king. Really Voice acting so king. time. Having her stay with us. Don't talk over it. Children don't know anything about it. Everything what? will be okay. It's okay, we've kept a horrible secret from the children. Anyway, Ashley They'll be will fine. Be don't look so worried. I like that guy's sweater vest. I hope I remember to put the child lock on the horrible secrets. Might be Ashley. I'll go and see. Oh god, those footsteps. Walk faster, woman. Come on. Come on. 
<laughs> Get to the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alan Hale, that Maxwell curse is. Man, there is a lot of name dropping going on. The Maxwell curse. Is that somehow related to Maxwell's demon? I thought they were talking about Maxwell Adams. I thought they were talking about Maxwell's demon. Even, even as he rushes to investigate the scream of his wife, he politely closes the door behind him as he goes. Well, that's just good manners. <laughs> they actually live in a giant fish tank. <laughs> be Hello, might be Uncle school. Philip? Aunt Catherine? It's Alyssa. Then the house explodes. Oh. <laughs> Had this been an American game? Maybe. <gasps> wow, those are some that? really big-ass suitcases. <laughs> a mysterious noise has startled our protagonist. Oh my god, what's wrong with her neck? Let's investigate this chest of drawers. What's wrong with... Oh, she has very long... She's not proportioned correctly. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Let's just leave. <laughs> Fuck this place. Just take our luggage and go. Oh, really? We're already doing that shit? God damn it! I told my parents not to use that stupid self-locking door. It mysteriously will not open. <laughs> oh god. Her uncle just ran around the house and is keeping it shut. See, I like the camera work, actually. Yep. Yeah. Dynamic, dynamic camera on pre-rendered uh, backgrounds, almost. Well, they're not pre-rendered, but parts of them are pre-rendered. Yeah, what well. the hell is going on here? Of course, uh, the they mask the, uh, the loading times by... Um, the yellow sign. I guess whoever needed to go to the bathroom was really drunk. Um. <laughs> and apparently, the whatever this is... Goes uh, to the door and then it just disappears. And there's a wait. Is that a leg shot? Yeah, uh, there's, le the there, there's a leg sticking out of the toilet, <laughs> uh, and we can't uh, actually examine it. Oh god. So is this the Grand Theft Auto Four trailer? Uh, maybe you should turn this the five, light. Sorry. Maybe. Is there a light switch here somewhere? Let's see if we can find it's it. Trevor, it's Trevor. It's Trevor. Taking a painting. I see something. There isn't actually a light switch. There is a toilet paper holder, and then there's this thing. Look at those rolls of toilet paper all the way up there. She yeah. can't. She can't even reach them. What sort of horrible torture room is this? Maybe the light switch uh, is outside. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. I, I was just going to bring it up. According to the Portuguese guide, you have to, uh, to turn the light switch on outside. All right, let's go. I right. I mean, that's how bathrooms work, right? Let's so she can't actually see this. Right. Probably not. Right. That's Turn on the light first. Because this we are off to an amazing strict, start. Some very strict requirements for the special ending. I already like this game. Let's see, okay, there's the button right there. Let's see if we can press it. Man, imagine if you had a toilet that big and then the light one was on the outside and you had family members. They would be messing with you non stop. <laughs> If anyone was in the bathroom, they would just start an impromptu rave party in there by slamming yeah. on the button and giggling to themselves. <laughs> right, let's see her reaction now. It's a toilet rave! Nothing! 100% no sell. Yep. Oh, a leg. And She's just like, oh, they still haven't yes. taken the leg out of the toilet. Wow, it took you a while to notice that. Has Trevor been in the bathroom again? Leg. Maybe Alyssa isn't, oh, you know, a, leg. a bit slow. Oh, I wonder what this yellow liquid is. D don't Can touch it! <laughs> My god, did you actually touch it? Why would you do that? Why would you touch any sort of weirdly colored b b fluid in a bathroom? I wonder what this yellow liquid is in the bathroom, trailing away from I the toilet. Uh, is a bit slow. Said the idiot. Is she going to be like the protagonist of the first two games? Just be oh. a complete and utter moron in every way? Uh, okay, I think you have to check the closet. Or, um, wait, hang on. The, man, this. The toilet paper closet. <laughs> e 
This <laughs> Portuguese guide is horribly formatted. Welcome and to Game Facts. <laughs> and it's Brazilian Portuguese, of course. Uh, apparently we should... Mm. I'm just going to have a look around first. Okay, you're supposed to use the other door, yeah. We should check a cabinet somewhere. Yeah, it's on the uh, other, uh, the door next to the bathroom. Sorry. Let's check the, uh... Is this a, uh... Voice recorder? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, hello! Hello, oh, the telephone! Line's dead. Oh, no! Hello, operator. The line yes, this is dead. They of killed course. the line! No. So, we're a lonely, vulnerable teenage girl isolated in a place that we are unfamiliar with. Man, it's like this is almost a real clock tower game. And the bathroom is covered in... Wait, dust. we're unfamiliar with, what, with our parents' house? Uh, well, these are not our parents. Yeah, apparently it's not yeah. our parents. I oh, think okay. these are our uncle. Yeah. We came for a timeshare meeting. Oh, man. Look at all that yellow. I think we need to turn the light on again. Yeah, but at least this time the uh, light button is actually indoors. So wait, hold on. Let me see if I got this correctly. They have a separate toilet and then they have a two-room bathroom. I don't know, were they trying to make that the Rape rich. Simpson revitalizing tonic in the tub there? They were just brewing some moonshine. The things went a bit wrong. Yeah. Hear that or Let's some sort of cabinet. crystal meth experiment gone horribly wrong. What do we got That's here? That's why they're so rich. To. It's right. probably Bane's fault. The they were churning butter, but they got a bit <laughs> delayed. The modern Amish. Uh, doesn't make sense. I apologize. Oh. I retract that statement. Let's I see. Do. And it's pronounced Yamish. Amish. Probably aren't going to be very unhappy with you. I mean... They're not yeah, going to be very litigious. Oh, hey, view hint now. Yes, please. Let's look at a hint. From what I uh, remember yep. from this game is that checking those yellow things is are very important for the good ending. Alyssa and Bates encounter different events. We oh no god, it's one of is. those games. You can switch personalities by putting down the amulet and then try again. Switching personalities, oh. you say? Wow, that 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 sure ain't a spoiler at all. Yeah. And one is named Bates. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah this isn't going to be sinister at all. Bates. So I that, suppose that this. He's a um, very, uh, I, I don't know. That's odd. So I suppose that this follows the uh, virtue's now. last reward policy of spoiling things before you see them. This wash basin is made of metal, and that is weird. <laughs> what the hell? This wash basin is made of. It's metal. a wash basin for robots. My god. All I can hope is that uh, the Bates personality is all classy and stuff so that Alyssa refers to him as Master Bates. Uh, <laughs> no, not really. From what I can remember, Batesy kind of sounds like, I don't know, the. Uh, I don't know. Did you ever watch those screen movies? No. He kind of sounds like the guy over the phone. He sounds a human like. Uh, no, you will. Re you will hear what he sounds like when we get to him. What is your favorite scary movie? And now the horror music has started, so now we are probably vulnerable, right? Or... no? Oh, hey, and uh, okay. Blenheim SA easy? apparently uh, decided to mention in the stream chat that the guy that did the voice of Bates is the same guy that did oh. the guy over the phone in the screen movies. What so that's pretty cool. That's a he sounded familiar. Well, there you go. Nice to see him using his talent for this. Yeah. And actually, yeah. that reminds me. Roger Jackson. That's the same guy that also did the voice of Mojo Jojo in Powerpuff Girls. So, ma so many strings in that man's liar. Oh, hey, there's a huge-ass sword on the wall. But everything is normal in that thing. Okay. <laughs> Is that a broadsword? I'm not entirely sure. On closer inspection, it looks more like some sort of short lance. Mm. Okay, it looks like a band stabber. Uh, what's on the other side? Is that a gun? Yeah, it looks like it. it. Looks like some sort of rifle. That might be more useful. <laughs> Use both. 
Remember the basics yes. of CQC. <laughs> I don't think CQC yeah, but was how really exactly designed is she with going a sword to, and a know, rifle in mind. down the rifle in order to, you know, be able to quickly switch between yeah. the two. The dining key. Okay, yeah, the dining key goes to a room in a dining room. And don't tell me what I'm supposed to do, darn it. No, it's, it's a key meant for dining. So you can... It's an know, edible key. Unlock. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! But no, this yeah, is what you're supposed to do, in case you were wondering. Uh, yeah, check the <gasps> limb. Or piss. <gasps> oh goodness. It's a mirror. What is that? It's a cake. It's a lemon meringue pie. <laughs> That's what's been everywhere. Body grip, he has got a bit too into it while eating. <laughs> Spread that stuff all over the place. It's only an arm? This really lends credence to the butter theory. Buttered arm. There is an arm there. I actually that... like her walking pace because she's so ridiculously rela relaxed. If you... Oh, hey, phone is ringing. But wasn't the line dead? It might be a trap. It got there. It might, it might be Ghostface. It might be <laughs> an undead phone. It might be Ghostface Killer. I actually saw a video of Ghostface Killer earlier today. Mm. How's Maybe. that for a coincidence? <laughs> All Maybe the report on the line's dead was greatly exaggerated. Nope, the line's still dead. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Was just faking us out. Gee, thanks for making us no. walk all the way back your game. It's sort of like air escapes from a corpse. Oh. It blasts ringing. But he's been going woo woo all the time at the party. No, that's just the noise of the air escaping his skin <laughs> falls. <laughs> That's a reference that will be really weird to people who haven't seen that episode of you for drama. I was actually thinking about that just the other day. <laughs> I'm sure you were. Yeah. Oh, hello, that. what's this? It's a samurai armor. With a sword. Equip it. <laughs> well, uh, the guide mentions, well, in order to get at least one of the endings, I think it's M, you can't examine the samurai. <laughs> wow, this, oh dear. Should Wait, we can't examine him? If we want the M ending, yeah. But is the M ending the good ending or the bad ending? M ending is the absolute worst ending. Okay. I don't know. Right. Forget to don the samurai armor and take on all the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling that with M ending, possibly at the end, we might get to meet Judy Dench. Ooh. Let's see. What anime is that? Zoom in a bit so I can examine that anime. Uh, they probably didn't get the copyright on it, so they can't show it in high res. <laughs> that is. A... Oh no! Oh, and she has a poster for Clock Tower Two on her wall. Someone peed all over this TV chair. Also, there's a head on it. <gasps> so, in other words, no. this uh, oh, no. is kind of like Ashley. the Beastmaster Two, in that you can find references to the movie itself inside, or in this case, the game. And Beastmaster 2 was, of course, a uh, fine movie, which that is was a both great well for angle this. there, by the way. I just have to say that it stared at her midriff, no, more or less. Stop. Uh, who's Ashley? Don't be afraid. It's not a real chair. Oh goodness! Fire or fleet bleeding. And blood. now we're glowing with the power Ooh, of anime. We're Super Saiyan. Wait, wh wait, no, it's, it's not her feet bleeding. Why is her shadow red? I think that's just a generic PlayStation shadow. Yep. <laughs> and it happens to be red. <laughs> Don't ask too many questions, Mr. Overflight. It's obviously the gate to the netherworld. Oh hey, now we're outdoors. And we are surrounded by pure darkness. 
Somehow this reminds me a bit about Bushido Blade. Let me tell you about Homestuck. That, that is exactly what I thought of as well. I think that Bushido Blade is a better franchise. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I like Bushido Blade too. Those. As in, you like Bushido Blade as well, or you like the I second one? I only play the Bushido Blade 2. I haven't played the first one. I haven't played any. You should. They're pretty so, good. So fuck that teleporting boss straight to hell. <laughs> I don't know. I only played the first one, and with that one, I have to say, fuck the guy with the gun. <laughs> there is a. Uh, there are two guys with guns in Bushido Blade 2, but none of them hold Wait. a candle to the teleporting boss. Wait, is Bushido Blade the one with Paul Eiding? Uh, well, Paul Eiding was in everything, so... No, I don't think so. so. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, okay. You might be Paul thinking Eiding of Evil Zone. Everything. Yeah, that's it. Because <laughs> there was no, a guy Bushido with a gun Blade in that one, that, um, whereas everybody else did not have guns. Yeah, Bushido Blade is the, the game where you have a sword and everybody, like, it's one hit and everybody dies. And I like that we're talking about like every other thing except this game we're playing. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, let me think. No. Yeah. I'm well, not talking about something else. Uh, I guess this oh. game is, is so riveting, honestly. Well, um, did you know so. that in Japan this was called Clock Tower Ghost Head? Yep, that's what I said yep, when we reached the title, yeah. the title screen, yeah. actually. <laughs> oh, fuck. Did you know that this is the second clock tower game in the US. Did you know that there may yeah. or may not be a clock tower in this game? Stay tuned and find out. Clock tower status is still unconfirmed, but uh, investigation is ongoing. Well, Stay funky. tuned for monsters, horror, boredom, not featured, a clock tower. Well, see, Ooh, as yeah. long as we encounter some combination of clocks and powers, see what date it's alright. Let's see, can we shut off the lights? Yeah. Oh man, that made us look even more badass. Yeah. Fear my purple Mayhem energy. Mayhem. If there's anything I've learned from Japanese media is that if you have a purple energy, then you're all, then you're like as badass as a guy with red and a guy with blue energy together. <laughs> That's how it works. Uh, probably also evil. Nah. Well, according to the guide, you're apparently supposed to go back to uh, that room with the cake and severed arm. Mm. Whatever the hell that thing was. It's it. pie. Isn't like Lemon the uh, pie. They made a pie for her. Isn't in like the latest Dragon Ball Z movie the uh, you super like Super Saiyan God transformation or whatever supposed to make your hair purple? Maybe. I wouldn't know. I only knew about it because of some article about, like, the upcoming Dragon Ball Z fighting game or whatever. I don't know. Let's see if we can get killed by the samurai now. The only thing I care about Dragon oh. Ball Z is Dragon Ball Abridged. Oh, hey, there's someone in the room. Uh, he's doing a very no. bad job no. in hiding. This is not... Oh. This guy looks totally legit, like you cool guys. Dude. I wonder what he's doing yeah. back there. Yeah, I think he's trying though. to steal our TV, kick, our, kick his ass. <laughs> Let's turn on the lights and see how he reacts. He's not going to get away with our CRT TV. Hey, I have a CRT monitor. No, oh, it, it's a sweater vest, Dad. I love his sweater vest. Please compliment him on his sweater vest. On Everything my is normal here. Okay, that's good to know. Everything is normal except for our evil spirit aura. See ya. Well, he clearly has his own business going on, you know? He's trying to fix his TV. Yeah. Shouldn't be bothering him. How Let's would there's light switches suppressed? Let's see, is there something super creepy in here? 
Step outside. I try. You honestly can't tell because you pretty much went in a completely different oh direction than the guide tells you to, so I have no <laughs> idea where you are. Oh my <laughs> god, where <laughs> where did the legs on those chairs go? They disappeared. Also, I'm sorry for not part, following... Oh, yeah, this is the part of the game where I explain to Body Gripple how Japanese culture works. <laughs> is this one of those games that, like, pretends this game is not in Japan when it's localized? Probably is. Yes. Well, seeing as everyone has English names, probably. Man, that guy is having a lot of trouble. But I don't me. understand is why, like in like these uh, games are the video game equivalent of stuff like Sex in the City, and that everybody has these huge houses. Even though if this was set in real life, they would probably get, uh, spend several million dollars on them. Everything was normal inside that cabinet that uses the exact same door as the doors to the rooms. That would be really confusing. Imagine if all your cabinets and wardrobes had the same doors as your indoor doors between rooms. Maybe it's not a closet. She just took the liberty of looking inside the room, seeing that there was nothing interesting, and just closed it. <laughs> Let's see. Nope, we murder victim, murderer with knife, bloodstains. Think... Yeah, everything seems to be normal in here. Everything's present. Ah. Ooh, it's uh, D. I can have Blossoms in the stream chat uh, mentions that apparently with the English version they did change the location. Apparently in the American in the American release it apparently is supposed to take place in California. Except no, it's not. <laughs> it's what, what, what are you talking yeah. about? This is totally California. Is this another bathroom with the light switch on the outside? Yes, it is. Why That's how they build them in California, don't you know? <laughs> I wouldn't know. I've never been. <laughs> I think that to get progress, we have to unbait ourselves. Yep. Just like, not... hint, just like hint number one told us. We have to debate. Yep. Well, the thing is, you needed to go back to the room with the severed arm, because there you're supposed to be able to grab a MacGuffin. Oh, hello. Solution found. You yeah, found pistol. Let's use it on ourselves. Why would you keep a gun in your medicine cabinet? It's California. Look, it's if, head medicine. if you're sitting on the second floor toilet here, and you hear someone breaking in and heading up the stairs, that means that you're trapped. You can't reach any other room without being spotted, and if he's armed, you want to be armed. That's why you hide shotguns in every room in the house. <laughs> Actually, that, that California explanation is starting to make more sense now. Except in the Actually, world that have an escape route. California <laughs> would be the one state where you wouldn't find it. Well, it depends on where in California. But yeah, I was about to say it depends on where and who you who owns the place. I guess if it's one of so those, what you're saying if it's one of those anti-gun politicians, then there will be a security guard with a gun in every room instead. <laughs> So what you're saying is that this is set in Compton. Perhaps. Compton, California. Right. I knew somebody from Compton. He was a nice guy. Did you call him CJ? No. <laughs> His name was Alfredo, which is kind of funny. But Why can't I answer the phone? No. Again, I don't think that Bates is the most social guy. But if I had a voice like that, I answer the phone all creepy like every time. What's your favorite scary movie? Oh, oh gosh, I don't know really. I just sell electric razors. And why the hell are you calling me? <laughs> well, we you have we me. have a great deal right now, you see. Seriously, you guys, I have you on the friggin' block list. What's in here, I wonder? The desk door is locked. Let's see, we have a key. Which All these it? rooms are so clean. Well, you I know, she, she was coming to visit, so they figured, you know, clean mm. up a bit. Oh, there was another pistol. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. It's you have found a pistol, but left it where it is. Well, do you see any pockets on that dress? So, keep two them in guns your hands. 
Two guns in two different rooms. Yep, this is definitely California. Let's see. Is everything normal in here? Everything is normal here. Good. There's... It's not necessarily evidence that it's California, but it's more evidence that it's not Japan. I mean... It's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't think there are many Japanese households that have two revolvers or pistols just lying around in drawers. Then again, they're rich. Yeah, I was about to say, this place even has its own little bar and everything. These guys must be good for millions. Bates is liking it. Maybe we can just nick the place. Steal a house. <gasps> What's this? A charm. It's a lesser's oh, amulet. Even Bates or so. Amulet. That is clearly a store-bought charm. I have no clue how to actually use it, though. If we have it, we are Alyssa, but if we put it down somewhere, we become, you know, the base. And the problem is there are only very specific spots where we can actually, you know, put the charm away. I have a map with me that, you know, has all the charms and some such. So you just drop it on the floor somewhere? And then you that, leave? That even be proper. You need to get a piece of that pie. <laughs> We have to get that arm out of the way. Uh. We can sh sh challenge it to an arm wrestling competition. But since it's not attached to the shoulder, it will not actually yes. have enough power to do anything. Just nail it to one of the chairs. <laughs> or trap it under a bucket. So you can steal things without it noticing. I think... <gasps> Whoa! That was a nice throw there. Oh, oh hello! <laughs> May I help you, Is scary there... girl? Was there techno music playing just then? Don't have sound Use on. gun on ghosts. <laughs> yes. Gun the hell out of her. But it's not actually letting me. That's bullshit. Well, she's a teenage girl. She doesn't know how to use a gun. Well, we can't use the gun if you are Alyssa. Oh, I see. Alyssa Eat. is the. Uh, Alyssa can use environmental hazards to her advantage, but Bates is better in a straight up fight. So, is this girl our scissor man of this game? Uh, for this chapter. She's more the scissor man for this particular chapter, as far as I know. Okay. Let's head up the stairs and inspect that samurai armor. Yep. I haven't so seen time to do that. very many hiding places here. It's a pretty bare residence, actually. So, with this girl or Bill, can we do that? Well, look on the bright side, at least it's not the Awani. Maybe we should find a closet or something. No, not the toilet. Let's just lock the door. But she's a ghost. She's totally been opening doors, though. Well, she... She's just retaining habits from her past life, even if they're unnecessary. Is she seriously not coming to the toilet? Well... She wants to give uh, Alyssa her privacy. Wait, is it Alyssa? What's her name again? I forget. She can put the charm in the cabinet in, in this toilet, I believe. Yeah, I was trying earlier, but apparently not. Hmm. Probably not while in danger mode, I suppose. Hmm, but the ghost isn't the girl isn't going away, so. Hmm. Well, that was Clock Tower Ghost Head, everyone. Thanks for watching, and uh... you help me to find something to attack or hide. <laughs> that is fine.
Oh, I'll play the role of the GPS system. Okay, let me see. I'm looking at this freaking Portuguese guide. Why doesn't this have paragraphs? <laughs> because fuck you, that's why. Okay. We can use the plant on the balcony to uh, knock it out a bit. Screw whoever wrote this guide. Screw you, Evandro Lutz. Let's uh, lead him into. Let's lead her into the room where that guy's covering. Maybe she'll eat him instead. <laughs> oh no, she's got a knife. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea! Oh, yeah, it's a scene, we're safe. Oh, you, he left? You, yep. you gotta love how she stops to give you uh, to, uh, and allows you to open the door, that's awesome. Oh no, not that one. <laughs> Whenever you open the door, she just stops out of courtesy. Yep. Right, there should be a plant around here that we can use to our advantage, I think in the corner there. Yep. We can smoke her. If <laughs> you use the green herb. It's gonna wreck your face. Oh. Stephanie, I'm sorry. Fuck your shit! Um, Apparently no, that's Stephanie. Yep. I... okay. Don't worry, she's a zombie. She'll okay, who is Stephanie? She's our nephew and cousin. Oh hey, he's back. Hey. Well, hey. Dude, where the hell were you? I just uh, oh, smacked a kid with a uh, plant pot. I'm okay. Oh, okay. What happened? By the way, generally you do oh, not want to, to bring now. bait to, uh, to people because he is not a very social fellow. You've got to hide his ass and continues covering. Shouldn't we cooperate and get some shit done instead? I mean, I have a gun. You want a gun? I can get uh, another. Yeah, I'm reading this. Sorry, but you just screwed everything up. Oh. You were supposed to lock her in a room. Well, might as well check the samurai <laughs> statue then. Oh, that's an event later. We'll get to that in time. Oh no! The samurai is coming for me! Very slowly. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Dude, I just woke up! Why did you have to do that? It's actually a great bad ending involving this guy. <laughs> Sit still, let me just get my coffee first! See, just walking down the stairs was enough. Uh, he cannot go down the stairs. He will only stalk the upper, upper yeah, floor. Yeah, I think the problem oh. is with that guy. He pretty much seems to randomly teleport between various areas, and you're kind of screwed if he's blocking your path. Hmm. So the guy does seem to mention that apparently, just hiding in a room for a couple of minutes, he seems to just teleport to another area. But how does it get there? I presume by walking. Hmm. Without us realizing. Probably. In this house with almost entirely one-way paths. Hmm. You would be able to give them something around. I just can't get over how big this house is. This house is great. Have you I mean, never played a horror game before? <laughs> Uh, yes, but... The only okay. time we've been in a small haunted house was at the end of Yuan, and that game was terrible. That should tell you something. <laughs> oh, come on, that game was hilarious. Hilarious, <laughs> yes, but absolutely terrible. Okay, yeah. Well, it, it helps take off the edge ah, of, so of the terribleness. I, I still think this, that's one of my favorite uh, of your videos. Yeah, sure, it's hilarious if you're watching. Of course! It was so painful to play, you had no idea. <laughs> How bad it was! Man... I, I actually once talked to this uh, teenager who said that that game was the scariest game you ever played. 
And I just looked at him and said, really? And he gave him a good punch square in the jaw. Oh, last right? no. Oh. Oh, jeez. Well, never mind then. Jesus Christ. Where the heck did the knives go? The kni Those knives. Knife Sweden. Those wacky California knives. Mm. Speaking of knife Sweden, I should tell you about the great places I passed on my way home oh, on the bus. Of course. Because <laughs> there's, a, there's a stretch of road on the way up to where I live that is Really big on regrets. <laughs> no, seriously, because first you pass Lake Regret, and then just slightly north of that is the River of One Regret, and then just past that there's the Take Pleasure in Regret River. Where the hell do you live? It's like. It's like no, <laughs> the first regret was an actual regret, but then all the other regrets were regret over naming that lake regret. Yeah, and then if you go past, you know, take pleasure in regret river, you get to multiple regrets river. So apparently he changed his mind, and he was like, oh, why did I do that? It's the stupidest name ever. So, is the rent at least cheap there, Arthur? <laughs> Regrettably, no. No. <laughs> I don't think there are already even any properties to rent out there. It's like, there's nothing there. <laughs> well That's that was the plan. That was like n naming the naming of Iceland. They wanted to limit yeah, immigration. Yeah, exactly. Greenland is this beautiful place. You should all go there. But Iceland, no, no, no. Ooh, terrible. You should all go to Greenland and freeze to death. Filthy thorners. Right. I think we should check out the bedrooms a bit. Yeah, let's see. How about That's in here? That's the first door. Hello? Anyone in here? Man, this hallway right here. This is this is a video game hallway right here. I just want that said. Hallways don't look like this in real life. Unless you are in a building that's like 200 years old. This is also a very confusing camera perspective. You know what's uh, really bad about this hallway? Is that if those windows were, uh, weren't there and instead we had another door, we could sh uh, stage a badass Scooby-Doo sequence here. Beat me totally. to it. God damn it. Oh, hello. Um. There is something on the bed. Oh, let's turn on the light. Some. Thing. But I think the guy does mention something about that. You need to check the bed and... Then you'll be able to look at a statue. Let's start some music instead. Let's put on some music to start our day. Oh, it must be broken. If I were, wasn't a, a game developer, I would literally spit oh, in man. the... An overflight just talked over the biggest scare in the game. Uh. Overflight was the scare all along. <laughs> Hello, I'm a lady with a knife. I'm going to stab you. How you doing? Get out of there! Get out of there! <gasps> Miss me by a mile. <laughs> Walk slowly up to the door and escape. Hurry! Can use the leg stance. In that room we were in. <laughs> I also that. like how the walkthrough I'm reading here doesn't even oh, mention the fact that, that you know, Stephanie all of a sudden jumps in that just simply <laughs> mentions you get a small cutscene. <laughs> no, <laughs> because I think we no, because I think we just went off the rails. We were supposed to rock, walk Stephanie someplace. I think you did. Ouch! Right in the baby maker. You have failed. Right into California. Did you ever say? My California raisins. 
Let's see through all those caution now. Well, at least the continuous system isn't too bad. I used to, to watch the California Raisins cartoon as a kid. <laughs> Did it make you want to buy California Raisins? Uh, no, share. it was actually... It was Wait, literally share? like... Share? Do this. Oh, that share! It was literally the uh, most... One of the most awesome. generic cartoon shows I have ever seen. That's like, literally every single... Wow, there is a lot of... <laughs> This game is not really responding well at the moment. I better run now. Lost the tactical advantage. Yeah. I didn't I... even know California Raisins was supposed to be like this uh, food campaign. Is there a plan? Oh no. This... I thought yeah, that for some balcony. reason they just decided to make a, a cartoon show about giant raisins. Oh dear. Why? Why would they even show that in Portugal? I mean, uh, no, no, no. This wasn't in Portugal. This was when oh. I uh, lived. This was when I lived in Macau. So it was on Hong Kong TV. <laughs> Even so, I. Mm. Well, I suppose they wanted the British to buy California raisins. <laughs> Leg it. Good try. You can grab the chair. Hopefully, I will have time to grab it. Man, Stephanie, you are the worst kid. Yeah, um, Here we there go. were some, uh, like that, that uh, those Hong Kong channels showed some, um, really... Yeah, uh, Gorilla press that shit. <laughs> Take this. Actually, man, you're running wild. <laughs> Oh. And then I'll stand inside you for a bit before using the door. So it, so essentially she just dropped the chair on the floor, and that was enough to stun her. Yep, and it brings us straight back out to somewhere where we can't actually escape. <laughs> oh, you were the wrong move. So yeah, okay, great going, work. <laughs> I will. Hmm. I think we we should really blame the protagonist here, since she checked the freaking door earlier, so she knows it's locked. Why would you, she go back out here? <laughs> well, hope we can pass that QD again. I don't think so. Once it's red, it doesn't matter how much you tap the button, you die. Oh so, man, if only uh, I was allowed to resist. The one other bedroom has a bat in it. At least it's forgiving that it continues. Yeah, well, all the Clock Tower games, except the first one, are all quite forgiving, and I really appreciate that. <laughs> I like that, that the share is just gone. Both, both the bedrooms have a weapon to fight back, so... just. Run oh, come on, don't tell me that we're on, in an unwinnable situation due to this. <laughs> Why does she go outside again? I think that we are actually in an unwinnable position because we are not allowed to pass Stephanie, but with the door outside, which is the only way back in, is locked. Ah, uh, there's nothing here to fight that. Well, we can jump off the balcony. If only. <laughs> well. Uh, does your course always go over the door again? The cursor doesn't matter. She enters automatically. I'm not given a choice. That's Please the thing. This clock tower three was uh, entertainingly bad. <laughs> so, game of the year 1998. Hey, let's bring up that. What else came out in 1998? It's uh, interesting too because she walks back past. Yes. Why? You're on the right side to escape. Why do you go back outside? This is nonsensical. Yeah, this is... Right. So I guess what we're going to have to do here is continue inside this room, immediately step outside and see if we can pass her by out here and get back in the house. 
<laughs> Find some squirrel points out that Half Life came out in 1998. So Half Life One was shit. <laughs> Yeah. I never even played Half Life great. One, oddly enough. Dark the, Forces the first Two, half -life, though. It was pretty good and all. It's just you know the final area was pretty much dog shit, to be honest. Well, it is like a legendary example of what happens. On oh man, I don't areas. actually have time to do it either. <gasps> well, <coughs> it's all your fault, Arthur. <laughs> well, technically, since I am at the controls, yes. And Trespasser was also released in 1998, so I think it is a toss-up for, I guess, Game of the Year is a toss-up between this and that. Man, we're 36 minutes into the game and we're already permanently stuck. <laughs> so, was well, this game... There is a reset option. <sighs> so, was this game developed by Sierra? <laughs> ah, Clock Tower Ghosthead. No wonder people warn me about you. Nah, what, are you yeah. telling Actually, me that uh, the fine people of YouTube have misled you? 